Hey guys, I'm back with another Minecraft tutorial. Here in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to build this mansion. It has five bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms. In the backyard, there's a very large pool and patio space. And at the front side of the house, there's a large driveway that wraps around with a multi-car garage. And this house does have a basement, which has a few bedrooms and bathrooms, as well as an office. Here's the plot dimensions. We'll take a look at that orange square that's down the middle. That's going to be the space needed for just the house itself. So from left to right, you'll need 59 blocks. From front to back, you'll need 58. Now, if you want the house itself as well as all of the landscaping around the house, then you'll be paying attention to that large yellow rectangle on the outer edge. From left to right, you'll need 77 blocks. From front to back, you'll need 96. Now let's take a look at the space between the edge of the house and the edge of the landscaping. We'll take a look at the bottom first. That's going to be the extra space needed for the landscaping at the front side of the house. So in between is the yellow line and the orange line, you should still be able to count 12 spaces of grass. Let's take a look at the top. That's going to be the space needed for the backyard. So in between that yellow line and that orange line, you should be able to count 24 spaces of grass in between them. We'll then take a look at the right. Once again, just extra space needed for the landscaping around the edge of the house. So in between the yellow and orange lines there, you should be able to count 7 spaces of grass. And now at the left, in between that yellow line and orange line, you should be able to count 9 spaces of grass. The very first thing I'm going to be sure to do is add some extra layers of grass on top of the space where the house itself will be. So if you are playing on just a regular Minecraft world and not a flat world, then this is probably something you won't have to do. All you'll have to do is just clear out a space big enough for the house. But in my case, since I'm on a flat world and I did decide to raise up the house and add some layers of landscaping, that means the house has to be raised up. And the easiest way to do it is just going to be to add a couple extra layers of grass on top of where the plot size for the house itself is. That way we could just build right on top of it and we're not placing all the blocks for the house kind of floating in the air. So where the edge of the plot size for the house itself is, all I'm going to do is just place a layer of grass around the outer edge. We want to make sure this is going to be two layers in height. You can now see this is two layers in height. The next thing I'm going to do is go throughout the middle and just fill all of this in at the top layer. So there we go. All I did was just added two layers of grass and filled in all the space in the middle. Now that we have that out of the way, we could jump right on into building the house itself. Here in part 1, we're going to be bringing up all the exterior walls for the first floor of the house. So I made sure to grab all of the blocks we're going to be using in this video. So you can see here, you could just go through and grab all of these blocks. We're going to start by marking out the foundation of the house first. So be sure to have the andesite. We'll head on over here to the front left corner. Just right on top of the extra layers of grass. We're going to leave a space here in the corner. So we're going to be starting on the second block in. We're going to work our way towards the right. And we're going to place 9 of the andesite. Now we're going to go in from the corner of that starting here. Continue working your way towards the right and we're going to place another 7. Now let's head back on where we left off, here at the right. We're going to start working our way towards the back now. So just right behind this block of andesite, we're going to place another one. And then you can switch to the smooth quartz block. We'll place one right next to that. Now, starting right here, you want to be sure to skip over 8 spaces. So we're now going to be on the ninth space. So we're going to place another block of the smooth quartz. So you should still be able to see eight spaces here. Now right next to this quartz, 
We're just going to continue on, place another block of andesite. Now go out from the corner of that. We're going to place another two spaces of andesite. Switch back to the smooth quartz block. Place one here. Skip over five spaces of the grass. So you'll then be on the sixth space. We'll place another block of the quartz. And then back to the andesite, we're going to leave off with another two. So we went through and just marked out where the garage doors are going to be. Now we'll head on back over here where we left off. We're going to start working our way towards that side now. So we'll just go right next to this andesite. And we're going to just place another 10. Now, we're going to bring this out by 2 right here. We'll go over towards the right by 1. We'll skip over 5 spaces of grass. So we'll then be on the 6th space. We'll place another 2 here. Behind that, have another 2. And now towards the right starting here, we'll place another 10. This is now where the main front wall is. So we have the garages here at the left. And then the front door is going to be right here. Now back over here. We're going to start working our way towards the front. So starting here, we're going to place another 8. Now go towards the right. We'll place 1. We'll go out from the corner of that starting here. Once again, towards the right, place another 9. And now back in, we'll place another 2. You should then be left with one space here at the edge of these grass layers that we brought up. So we have the main walls all marked out at the front side of the house. Now let's start working our way along the sides of the house. We'll head on over here towards the right first. We'll just go right behind where we left off this andesite. So starting here, we'll just work our way towards the back and place another 18. We're going to go in towards that direction. We're going to place another 4. And now starting right here, working your way towards the back again, we're going to place another 9. So this is now the right side of the house. Let's now head on over here at the left side of the house. And we'll start marking out the foundation here. So we'll go all the way back up here where we first started off. So just starting on this space, we're going to work our way towards the back and just place another 14. Now we'll go in from the corner of that, place another 13. And now, starting right here, you can work your way in that direction, and we're going to place 5. And now, going back towards the back side again, starting right here, we're going to place another 11. Right next to this andesite, we're going to work our way in that direction, so back towards that side of the house. So starting here, we're just going to place another 7. And now we're going to go out towards the back. Starting here, place another 6. Towards the left of that, going back towards that side again. We're going to place another 3. And then starting here, towards the back, we'll place another 2. And then here, once again, working your way back towards the left, we're going to place another 10.
So it's a little zigzag looking shape like this. Let's now head on back over here to this side. Right next to where we left off this andesite, we're going to work our way towards the right and just place another 8 starting right here. And now, starting here, working your way towards the back, we're going to place 3. Now, towards the right again, starting here, we're going to place another 10. And then, we'll bring this out by another 2 like that. We'll do it the same on this side. And then, we'll bring each side in by 1. So, we're then going to be left with 5 spaces here in the middle just like how we did it at the front. So this will be the door that leads out to the backyard. So we now marked out the entire foundation for the house. So this is what it's looking like. So you can see over here at the left, this is where the garages are going to be. And then all of this other space is the main house. Now we can start bringing up all of the walls. Let's start here at this space right next to where the garages are. We'll switch to the pillar quartz block. We'll go here in the corner and we'll bring up a pillar of eight. We'll then go right here on this corner, do the same thing. And then one more time here for this corner. Now, with the smooth quartz blocks, we'll place a layer at the top in between these pillars. So we'll bring this side over until we just meet up with the edge of the pillar like that. And then we'll go underneath and add another layer of the quartz. We'll then switch to the white concrete. We'll place a layer on top of the andesite. And then we'll go up along the pillars. So we'll look at this side first. And we'll place two layers going all the way up. We'll do the same on this side right next to where this pillar is. So we're then going to be left with two spaces down the middle. Let's go here at the top. We're going to add two more spaces right here. So we have a two by four rectangle here. And then for this side, we'll do a similar thing. So we're going to have two layers going up right next to where the pillars are. And then we have a layer at the top. And now you can see we have a three by four rectangle. So this is where the windows are going to be. For now, I'm just going to leave it with the shapes all marked out. And at the end, we'll be sure to actually fill in all the windows. We'll then work our way here towards this side. And we'll start bringing up all these walls. We'll look at the left first. With the white concrete, we're going to go right up along the pillar. And just place another six going up. The remaining two spaces is going to be filled in with the smooth quartz blocks. Let's continue with the smooth quartz blocks. Where we placed all of those single spaces. We're going to add another 5 on top of them. And then we're going to go along the top. So we have parts of the borders of the garage doors marked out. We'll look here in the middle, right on the corner block here. We'll switch to the pillar quartz block and bring up a pillar of eight. We'll then switch back to the white concrete on top of these blocks of the andesite. We're going to bring it up by six. And then we'll go along the top of these quartz blocks with the white concrete. Like that. We'll do the same over here. And then we have these two spaces here. 
So another six layers of the white concrete going up. And then you can switch back to the smooth quartz blocks. And we're just going to add another two layers along the top. So we still have to add a lot more to the garage doors, but for now, we just have them marked out, so we're going to leave it like that. Now let's look at the main front wall. We'll head on over here more towards the left. We'll switch to the white concrete. We'll place a layer right on top of the end of sight here. And then at the left, we'll bring this up by another five. We'll add an extra layer right next to that. We'll do the same on this side. So starting right here, we want to be sure to place three. And we'll bring it up to the same height. Just like that. And now you can see we have a space of five here. Right down the middle, we're going to bring up another set of five like that. And then we'll go along the top and fill in the remaining two spaces on each side. So now we have two rectangles that are two by four. Now above the white concrete, instead of having smooth quartz blocks, we're going to have upside down smooth quartz stairs. So we're going to start right here. Just place all of these right on top of this white concrete and we'll bring it over to the edge like that. And then on top of that smooth quartz block, we're going to have some chiseled quartz blocks, which I actually didn't grab. So be sure to go ahead and grab some of these chiseled quartz blocks. And I'll just swap out for now is the iron trap door. We're going to place a layer right on top of these upside down smooth quartz stairs. Now we'll look over here on this side and we're going to do the same thing that we just did there. So I'll just start here at this corner. I'll switch to the white concrete and I'll just bring this straight across to the other corner. And then back on over to this side, we'll place three and we'll bring it up by another five. So that is one and then two, three, four and five. We'll go to this side and we'll do the same thing. So it's going to be three spaces and five in height. We're then left with the five spaces down the middle. So just right here, we'll bring up another five. We'll go along the top and fill in two spaces on each side. So we're then once again left with a two by four rectangle. Let's switch to the smooth quartz blocks. We're going to go all the way here at the right side where the corner is. We're going to place two like that. And then we'll switch to the smooth quartz stairs. We'll place these upside down right on top of all of the white concrete. And then on top of that, we'll have the layer of chiseled quartz. Now you can see we have this piece in the middle that juts out. So we're going to switch to the smooth quartz blocks. And we have these little corners here. So we're just going to place some layers of smooth quartz blocks right on top of that. We're going to bring this all the way up until we're just right below the upside down smooth quartz stairs. Let's then also be sure to replace this block of white concrete here with a block of smooth quartz. So it looks like the quartz just kind of goes into the wall right there. It looks like a big solid piece and not just up against the wall of the house. We'll head on over here to this side and we're going to do the same thing. So we'll bring this up until we're just right below the upside down smooth quartz stairs. And then we'll replace this block of white concrete here. Now along the top, we'll have another layer of the smooth quartz blocks going across. And then above all that, we'll switch to the smooth quartz stairs and place these upside down right on top of all of these smooth quartz blocks. So we're just wrapping this around and connecting it into the main wall. And now on top of that, we'll have a layer of chiseled quartz blocks. 
So for now we have all of that marked out. Now we'll look over here at this wall. We'll go to the corner. We'll switch to the pillar quartz block and bring it up by 8. At the top, we'll have the two layers of smooth quartz blocks going in towards the wall that we already brought up. And then right below that, we'll have a layer of white concrete. At the left, we'll fill in three spaces of the white concrete and just bring it all the way up. At the right, we'll have two layers up against the pillar. And then we have two more spaces right on top of the andesite here at the bottom. So once again, we're left with a 2 by 4 rectangle here for a window. We'll then work our way over to this wall. We'll start with the white concrete, just right up against this pillar. We'll bring it up by 6. We then have the two layers of smooth quartz at the top. We'll go over to the right, here on the corner, switch back to the pillar quartz block, bring it up by 8. And then we'll have the six spaces of the white concrete and the two spaces of smooth quartz blocks. Here in the middle, it's going to be a bunch of smooth quartz blocks. So we'll have a layer right on top of the andesite. And then on each side, we're going to have two spaces. And this is going to be brought up one block higher than the rest of the walls. So it'll be brought up like that. We'll head on over to this side and do the same thing. Now along the top, we're going to fill in three layers. And then we want to be sure to have a space going right down the middle. And then... At the top of these rectangles that we have, we're going to have two upside down smooth quartz stairs. So now we just have two windows here. Let's then head on over here towards the right, and we'll start focusing on this section. Now back to the pillar quartz block, we'll go here to this corner, bring it up by 8. We'll also be sure to do it for this corner as well. Now you can switch to the white concrete. We'll have a layer on top of all of this andesite. We'll be sure to do it for all of this space here as well. And then we'll just focus on this wall. So, up against the pillars on each side, we're going to place two spaces of white concrete. And it's just going to be two blocks below the top of the pillars. So we just have the extra two layers of the smooth quartz blocks again. We'll do the same on this side. Let's then switch to the white concrete. We'll have a layer at the top of where we left it off. We'll just bring this straight across. And then above that, we'll have the smooth quartz blocks. And then we're going to have two windows on this wall. So here at the right, we'll be sure to skip over these two spaces. So right here on this space, we'll fill it in with white concrete. So that'll be a window there. We'll do the same on this side, so we'll skip over the two spaces and bring this up. And now we'll then fill in all of the space in the middle with more white concrete. So we have this wall all marked out for now. We'll head on here. We have this small space, which is all just going to be white concrete, with the extra two layers of quartz at the top. And then we have this wall. So up against the pillar, we'll have the two spaces of white concrete. 
with the quartz at the top. And we'll actually just continue on with the quartz into the other wall. We'll be sure to have a layer of white concrete below that. And then we're going to leave two spaces here. So starting on the third space, we'll fill in the remaining four spaces. So we now have another window here. Now before we head on to the back, let's go ahead and go to this side. Let's switch to the pillar quartz block. We'll go here in this corner and bring it up by eight. We'll then go to this corner and do the same thing. We have this corner here. And then we'll do one more corner here. Now you can switch to the white concrete. We'll look over here first. We'll add a layer right on top of the andesite. We'll have two spaces up against the pillars. And then don't forget about the extra two layers of quartz at the top. And then we'll go along across the top with the quartz. And then a layer of white concrete. And then we're going to have two windows on this wall. So we'll skip over these two spaces, bring this up, and same with the other side. And we'll then fill in all the space in the middle. So just two windows like that. Let's then head on over to this next section. So once again, we're going to continue with the white concrete, place a layer on top of the andesite, up against the pillar. Instead of just having two spaces, we're going to be sure to have five going out like that. And then we'll bring this all the way up, leaving the two spaces again. And then we'll do the same on this side, right up against the corner of this pillar. So we'll have five. So you can see we're then left with two spaces for the window in the middle. We'll then go down the middle, continue with the quartz, and two blocks of white concrete below that. Let's continue on. We have this wall right here, which will just be no window, just white concrete. and the quartz. And then we have this wall here. So we'll have the layer of white concrete again at the bottom. And then towards the right up against this wall, we're going to just have one layer of the white concrete and then the quartz on top. And then this is where we're going to have a window where these two spaces are. And then starting here, the rest of the wall is just going to be the white concrete. We'll go across the top above that with the quartz again and the concrete. So we just have a window right there. And then we have this L shape here. So on this wall, we're going to have a window, this wall, and this little section here will all be concrete. So let's switch to the white concrete. We'll have a layer on top of all this andesite. We'll be sure to do this section as well. And then this space here. So let's go ahead and just fill all of this in with the white concrete and the quartz at the top. We'll be sure to do the same thing here for this spot. And then we have this wall, which is going to have a window as I mentioned. So we're just going to fill in two spaces on each side, leaving the two spaces in the middle for the window. Like that. Now, we could focus on the backside of the house. Once we have all these walls marked out, 
We could then start adding all the detail for the windows, we'll fill in the garage doors, and that'll be all we do here for part 1. Let's start by marking out the pillar quartz blocks. So we'll head on over here more towards the right. We'll go right here on this corner and just bring it up by the 8 again. And then we'll go on over to this side where this corner is and do it again. Now we'll head on back over here. You can see we just have the single space which we could do really quick. It'll just be some white concrete and the smooth quartz block. And now over on this side, so right behind this pillar, we have the three spaces. Whoops, hold up, that's supposed to be white concrete. So just the same thing we've done everywhere else, we'll fill it in with the white concrete and the quartz. And now we could look at this section, we're going to have a window here. So on top of the andesite will be the white concrete again. And then up against this pillar is going to be two spaces. And then at the right, up against this wall is going to be three spaces. So we're just left with the two spaces there. So that wall is done. And now we have this spot and this spot. They're both going to be the same and it's going to be just like how we did those walls there at the front. And now we have this part here in the middle that juts out. And we're just going to bring up these corners all the way up to the same height as the rest of the walls. So here at the back we're not going to have the upside down smooth quartz stairs with the chiseled quartz because it'll all just be covered up anyway. So we're just going to have it all solid quartz like that. And now starting at the top. We're going to fill in three layers of smooth quartz blocks going across. So now we have all of the exterior walls for the first floor all marked out. The next thing we'll do is start adding all of the detail for the windows. We're going to start by doing all of the windows that are two blocks wide and four blocks in height. So all the ones that look like this. These windows are different than any other windows I've done for previous builds. So be sure to go ahead and grab some white concrete, some black stained glass panes, levers, dark oak trap doors, and dark oak stairs. And I'll start here at the front side. I'll show you how to do a few of them, and then it'll just be the same thing throughout the rest of the build. So let's go ahead and take a look at maybe this one first. So in all of my previous builds, with the glass, I had them at the same layer as the outer wall. In this case, we're going to have some trim work on the outer wall right here. And then the actual glass is going to be pushed back an extra layer. So that's why we have the white concrete. What we're going to be sure to do is just add an extra layer along the edge of the window like this. And now... On this layer, you could add all of the black stained glass. We'll then go on the outside. At the top, we're going to have two upside down dark oak stairs, so it adds a little curve at the top. With the dark oak trap doors, we're going to place three of these on each side below those stairs. And then at the bottom, we're going to have some levers kind of angled up like that and then I want to be sure to kind of just crouch and place some dark oak trap doors so it looks like it's right above those levers these look like brackets right here holding up these pieces of trap door so that is the design we're going to be doing for just about every window for this build so now I'll go ahead and show you how to do this section and then I'll go through and do every single other window that is two blocks wide and four blocks in height. So, 
Let's look at this section. We have the white concrete. We'll place it along the outer edge of these holes here. And then we have the space right down the middle. And then we just fill in each section with the glass. We'll go on the outside. We'll add the upside down dark oak stairs at the top. The dark oak trap doors along the sides below that. And then we have the levers. And then we'll be sure to crouch and have the extra dark oak trap doors. So now we have those windows done. So I'm going to go around the rest of the build and do every other window that's that shape. So we won't do this one quite just yet. And it looks like the only other windows we won't worry about right now is going to be these ones here. So every other window, we're going to go ahead and do the same design that we did these ones. Alright, I think I just went through and did all of those windows. think it all looks good, so this is what it should be looking like. Just the same thing that we did at the front. Let me head back on up to the front. And we left this window that is three blocks wide. So it's going to be a similar thing. So, we'll have the dark oak stair in the corner like that. And then we have the dark oak trap doors on the sides. And pretty much the only difference with this one is just an extra trap door right down the middle. And then we'll have a lever on each side like that. And then we're going to have three trap doors down here. Or like right above these levers. Like that. We'll go on the inside. And once again, we just have a layer of white concrete, which is where the glass will be. And now... We'll head on over here to these windows. And all we're going to do here are some levers right below it with the dark oak trap doors on top of those. Oh, whoops, hold up. Let me be sure to... What the heck? Oh, you know what? I don't think I could... Okay, there we go. Do the same on this side. And so we're not going to be adding any trap doors here along the inside. And we'll be sure just to grab the white concrete again. We'll go here on the inside and just add this along the outer edge. Just go right above where these stairs are and work your way back down. And then we have the space right down the middle. So now we'll just fill all of this in with black stained glass. So you can see how these windows are a little bit taller. Five blocks in height instead of four like it is everywhere else. So for the garage doors, we have the dark oak wood stairs, the dark oak planks, the tripwire hook, some spruce buttons, black stained glass panes, smooth quartz stairs, iron trap doors, and some levers. And then I made sure to also grab some smooth quartz slabs. And then the lantern and chain. And then we'll also need the dark oak trap door for the little overhang above the garage doors. So let's just start by marking out the door itself. So we'll start with the dark oak stairs and we'll do this bigger garage door first. We're going to be in one block away from the edge of the wall. And we'll just have three stairs curving together like this. We'll go on this side, do the same thing. And then we'll have the two dark oak planks down the middle. We'll be sure to just place a temporary block here on this layer on each side. And then we'll have another two blocks here in the middle. We could then switch back to the dark oak stairs. And we're going to be placing these upside down and curving these all together as well. We could then delete the temporary block on each side. 
Now, switch back to the dark oak planks. We'll place a layer right across the top here. And then we'll place two going up on each side with a layer going across the top. We could then switch to the black stained glass panes and fill in this space here. And now we have the trip bar hook. We're going to have two here for this door. And then just as a little final touch, I had some spruce buttons on the door. Just a little something like that. And now the thing that's going to really make this door look nice is the arch. So we have the smooth quartz stair. We're going to place one in each corner like that. We're then going to have an iron trap door at the top right next to it. And then we'll have one below the stair. And now you can see how these trap doors aren't up against the quartz. We're going to have to go on the other side with a lever. And we want to make sure to line up at that same block where the trap door is. So we'll place it right on top of, like right up against the quartz. We'll flip that down. And then you can see how the trap door went down. We'll do the same thing on this side right here. Flip that down. And when we do the interior, we're going to be sure to cover up these levers so you won't even see it at all. So now on uh, the outside, it looks like that. It's definitely my favorite feature of the build, these little curves that I added. Let's head on over here to the smaller garage door, and we're just going to do this one next. So, we have the dark oak stairs. Just once again, we're going to be one block further back than the edge of the wall. We'll go ahead and place two stairs, kind of curving like that on each side. We'll have two of the planks down the middle like that. We'll place a temporary one on each side right behind the quartz. And then we'll have some upside down ones similar to how we did the bottom layer. And then we'll go ahead and delete these extra blocks on each side. We'll have the layer along the top above that. Two on each side. Going across the top. And then some black stained glass panes right there for the remaining three spaces and then just one trip bar hook down here at the bottom and then we have these spruce buttons we'll just go ahead and add a couple like that and now my favorite part is the arch so we have an upside down smooth quartz stair in each corner an iron trap door at the top on each side and then we'll go on to the inside and add the lever again right here on this layer we have those two garage doors marked out. Now we have to add the overhang. So we'll switch back to the smooth quartz stairs. We're going to be here at the top layer of the quartz we have here. So we'll just be right on the corner. We'll have an upside down stair on each side. Right next to that on the inner side, we'll have a smooth quartz slab. On top of those stairs, we'll have another stair kind of just like sideways like that facing up and then on that same layer we'll have them upside down right up against the wall and then on top of that we'll have a strip of the dark oak trap doors we'll just swap out the spruce button you know what the spruce button we won't need anymore so we'll just get rid of that dark oak trap doors will be right here on top of these upside down smooth quartz stairs and that is it for the little overhang above the door. We'll do the same thing on this side. So we'll switch back to the smooth quartz stair. We'll have it upside down in each corner. We'll have a slab on the inner side. We'll have a stair facing up on the side, right above the upside down stairs. And then upside down stairs again, right in the middle. And a layer of the dark oak trap doors. Now let's do the front door. We'll switch back to the smooth quartz stairs. We'll have one in each corner. And then we'll have an iron trap door right next to that. And then a trap door below it. And then we'll switch to the lever. And right next to these trap doors, we'll have these flipped down. 
And if this is where we're going to have some lanterns. Let's be sure to grab the chain. And I'll just swap out the smooth quartz slab. We're not going to be needing that anymore. And then we have the lantern. I'll just swap out the tripwire hook. We won't need that either. So let's get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. We have the lever right there. So right below it, we're going to hang down a chain. And then below that, we're going to have a lantern. We'll do the same thing on this side. So right below the lever and then right below the chain. So now here's the back. I am going to be sure to mark out where the glass door is going to be. So let's go back on up to the front and we'll do this side first. Back at the front, I do want to be sure to add the lanterns on the sides of the garage doors. So with the lever, make sure you're at the same layer as the upside down smooth quartz stair. We're going to be right on the white concrete. We'll flip it down. We'll have the chain below that and then we'll have the lantern. We're then going to have another one right here. And then another one here on this space of white concrete. And one more right here. So there we go. We have those all marked out there next to the garage doors. Let's be sure to mark out the front and back door with the glass and the dark oak fences. So we'll start with the smooth quartz blocks. We'll go on the inside and we just want to be sure to add two extra layers just right here along the outer edge. So it'll just be going across the top here at this top layer. And then we'll work it back down on this side. We'll do the same thing here at the back while we're at it. With the smooth quartz stair, we're going to place another one right behind the first one. So now we just have to add the glass. So we'll have the black stained glass panes. We'll bring this down by five on each side. We'll go across the top and have two layers. And then we'll bring it out on each side by one more. And then we'll curve out the bottom one and the third one. So we're just skipping over this space in the middle. That is where the dark oak fence is going to be. We'll then go to the back and do the same thing right here at this back layer. We still have to add the little step up here. And you know what? How about we do it since we're here? So instead of using the smooth quartz blocks, we're going to just be using the regular quartz slabs and the regular quartz stairs along with the quartz bricks. We'll go right below the glass. We'll add a strip of quartz bricks here. And then we'll do it two more times. And then in front of that, we'll have a set of quartz stairs with a slab on each side. And now you can see how these little lines are between the regular quartz blocks line up with the lines where the quartz bricks are. We'll then go to the front and do the same thing. I am now going to leave it at that here for part one. I think we did quite a lot in this video. It might be a little bit longer than usual. Alright guys, that'll be it here for part one for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. I will see you guys in part two. We'll be continuing the exterior.